When key figures in the U.S. government claimed that FIDA had approved the antimalarial drug chloroquine for the treatment of COVID-19, demand for these drugs was high in major drug shops. Different opinions have been saturating on social media about the use of drugs, especially chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, during the COVID-19 pandemic, suggesting that either of the drug is useful for prevention or treatment. Uganda's Ministry of Health assures the public that there is no vaccine approved in the treatment of coronavirus. Chloroquine, on the other hand, is an approved drug in some European countries for the treatment of malaria and athletes. World Health Organization is evaluating evidence linking any drugs, including chloroquine, to improvement of outcomes in patients with COVID-19. Health officials agree that the health centers are distant, but caution the public on self-medication. So we want to strongly discourage the community out there from self-medication because self-medication has so many adverse uh, events. It, it, it comes with so many uh, bad uh, effects, side effects of the drugs, because the, the current um, people may take drugs in overdoses. We know these drugs have side effects on the heart. So we want to discourage that. But also, we want to give them a word of comfort that the case management committee team has drafted this protocol that is going to be shared with all health facilities countrywide to follow the same guidelines. And every health worker in a COVID-19 designated treatment site will have access to this protocol. So there is no need to worry. We want to discourage them from self-medication, but we want to encourage them to maintain good diet. It's very important to maintain a good diet to build one's immunity because the immunity is very, very important. The Minister of Health emphasizes social distancing and staying at home. We need to realize that COVID is a serious disease because of the um, numbers of people infected out there, the sheer volumes of people that need care and our system cannot hold everyone if we don't get hold of the cases. So it's each and everyone's responsibility to make sure that we observe social distancing. Some people are at home, they are not working, but then they step out and they still end up in some groups of sorts. Like we've had today, some people are walking to the market, but they are walking in groups and they are not observing the social distance. President Uriam 7 ordered a 14-day lockdown to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus. The 14 days is being used to identify, trace and isolate the individuals that have come into contact with confirmed cases. Ngabo Amon, reporting for UBS TV.